Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Aldi haul. Um, I've, I've got our groceries for the week here because um, tomorrow is Sunday, tomorrow is Easter, so obviously stores are not going to be uh, at their normal hours, so we just went on and got it so we'd be set for the week. Um, and then I also ran to Walmart to grab a couple of things, so I was just going to include that in this haul as well. Um, if you are new, I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. I do different types of haul videos, decorating videos. Um, day in the life, things like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of the family. But without any further ado, let's get right into this video of the grocery haul. All right, so I'm just gonna stay back here um, because I think that you guys are still able to hear me pretty well um, and see everything. So we're gonna do that. So starting over here, actually, I decided to move you guys a little bit closer, so. Let's go. Okay, so I got uh, some apples for Dylan, just two, just because I got him other fruit as well, um, and I knew he wouldn't eat an apple every single day in his box. So I got two Honeycrisp apples for him. Um, I got us some bananas. I got four bananas. Um, I got a cucumber for him as well because he really likes to dip these in ranch, so I got him those. Um, I also got us some berries, some strawberries, and some, what did I get, blackberries. Um, so I got him those. And then I got some more frozen strawberries for um, when I make smoothies. So I got some of those. And I wanted to buy a blend. They had like a strawberry banana blend, but it was almost $8. So I was like, no. I can just put a fresh banana in there with my frozen strawberries and it's fine. So I got that. I also got us some more broccoli. We love having this on hand. It's just so simple and quick, but still nutritious. So I got some more of that. Um, this week we're having some we're having cracked chicken um and if you've never had that before it's just chicken in the crock pot with a block of cream cheese or some ranch like a ranch packet um and i think chicken broth and then you just let that cook all day on low and then you um mash up the meat and mix it all together and then cook bacon on the side if you want to um, and then you crumble it on top when it's ready to serve with some shredded cheese and then we're gonna have it on Hawaiian rolls. So you can do it with spaghetti, you can do it with like, like spaghetti noodles. Um, sometimes we do it on rice, sometimes we did it on buns, but this week we decided to do it on mini Hawaiian rolls. So that's what we're gonna do. We also needed some more like regular tortilla chips. So we got these, these are the big dippers. Um, let's see, going back up here, I just got Dylan another, um, chicken pot pie. He doesn't always eat them at work, but I just like to have at least one in our freezer uh, just as like a quick grab and go thing for him. And if, if we're in a pinch, um, I also got us, I've really, really been loving these sausage links lately. Um, so I just got some more of these. They're $1.35. So got some more of those. I love having these with my bagels in the morning, um, which I did not buy any bagels this week at Aldi because we have a bread store right down the road from us. That was our air fryer. Um, we have a bread store right down the road from us and that sells the same type of bread that we get for a lot cheaper. So if you've ever heard of the brand Dave's Killer Bread, um, I've recently not discovered it. I've heard about it for a while, but just bought it to try it out. And if you buy a loaf, usually at the store, it's like five to $6. Well, at this bread store, it's like three. Um, and so it's, it's the, and it's the same shelf life. Like it's not about to expire tomorrow or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, I guess they've got a deal going on with certain brands. So I just have started buying our bread there because it's a lot cheaper. Um, so I'll be getting that probably Monday or Tuesday. Um, so that will not be a haul, but there you go. Um, and then I got us some cream cheese. Dylan likes this one for bagels. Um, so I got him strawberry. Um, again, the cream cheese I got for our cracked chicken that we're having this week. I got us, you guys already know, our turmeric shots. So I got us those, or no, these are vitamin C, not turmeric, sorry. Got us those, going back up here. We just needed a restock of these freezer bags. These are the quart size. Um, and I usually take our chicken breast that we get and I put them in here and then put it in the freezer. Um, and we were just completely out. So just this is just a restock of that. Um, we used all of the barbecue sauce that we bought what, last week or the week before. Um, we made a crock pot meal. And so I just restocked it um, just to have on hand 
you never know. And we're having spaghetti one night this week, so I got some spaghetti sauce. This one is flavored with meat, so I got that. Oh, I think I skipped over the noodles, but I did get, I think this is a two pound, yeah, a two pound thing of spaghetti noodles, so I got those for us. And then I grabbed these pickles for Dylan, they're his favorite, these kosher dill baby holes. Um, so I got him some of those. Um, you guys know my yogurt. I love it so much. Um, I literally go through this like in a week and a half. So it, it'll be, I'll be good next week. But then by the, by the end, like Thursday, Friday of next week, I'll be out and need it. So this lasts me about a week and a half because it's pretty much just me eating it. So, and I do eat the actual serving size on here. Um, I measure it out and it's 170 grams. So that's about how long it lasts me. It's about a week and a half. So it might be shorter or longer for you, just depending. But anyways, um, I got some, one little pack of tuna for Dylan. He still has some, so I just got him one. Um, going back up here, I just got my favorite cereal. Again, I'm, this has really been, like I'm just on a kick right now with this cereal. So I got some more of that. I also got, Dylan likes, Yaka soba is that how you say it yeah yaka soba and this one's chicken flavored um dylan likes to get these every now and then and it was like 70 something cents so i grabbed one for him as well um we just needed some more shredded cheese for our cracked chicken and just to have on hand so i grabbed some um and then this one's my favorite cream cheese for bagels it's the whipped cream cheese um i'm pretty plain i don't like the flavors i don't like blueberry or or the strawberry i'm just plain bagel, plain cream cheese. So, so that's what I got. And then they didn't have the, um, the little bars that we normally get that we have been getting. The ones that I told you guys about that is like the chocolate pretzel and it tastes like a chocolate covered pretzel. They didn't have those this week and I was upset. So I got a new flavor for us to try and it's peanut dark chocolate chunk and almond. So hopefully these are yummy as well. And then the last couple of things that we got from Aldi, I just got a restock of chicken broth. We already have one, but I just wanted to have another one just to secure us for the week. Um, I got a gallon of milk, which was so expensive. This was $3.25 and eggs were two. How much did I say eggs were? $2.64. So we did not get eggs this week because so 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 expensive um the last couple things that we got from aldi i'm just gonna scooch in right here um i got some chicken breast this is only a four pack which was kind of a bummer um but their their chicken price per pound is a dollar 99 so just average i guess got that uh dylan needed a restock on deodorant so i just got him old spice this is a this is aluminum free um uh, and that's what we like to get so aldi has his deodorant there um, but they don't have mine, so I did go to Walmart. But anyways, um, and then the last thing that we got from Aldi were these. Dylan, I think I talked about them last week. Dylan really likes this one, um, so I just got a restock of those for him. But that is everything that we got from Aldi. I did go to Walmart because I wanted to compare prices and see um, pricing of like the chicken, of the eggs, stuff like that and just walmart or aldi didn't have some of the items that i did need um so i just ran to walmart and got some so i wanted to include that in this haul as well so the first thing that i got that was not on my list but i insisted on getting were these uh triple chocolate muffins and i want us to just eat these tomorrow morning for breakfast for today saturday tomorrow sunday for easter did not have any alfredo sauce they were completely out. So I was gonna buy some heavy whipping cream and Parmesan cheese from Aldi, but it was so expensive. For a little, like a small container of heavy whipping cream from Aldi was three thirty-five. So I was like, uh-uh. So I put it back and which is what kind of led me to go to Walmart. So I got some Parmesan cheese. This um, was like $2, I think, and then this, carton was two dollars as well so this is how we'll be making our alfredo and then i got those 
And then the last couple of things that I, the last couple of things that I got from there were, again, I needed a restock on deodorant. This is the one that I've been using lately and I do enjoy it. Um, and it is aluminum free. And then we got some more toothpaste because we are needing some. And then we got this one, the Sensodyne Pronamel Repair. So we got those. And then um, I just went on because it was a same price. I just went on and grabbed another thing of chicken just because I was there. Um, and so we'll be stocked up for sure this week. Um, I needed to buy more chicken anyways because we have this one from Aldi but it's only a four pack. And then that freezer chicken that we got uh, last week, um, there's only like one to two small little breasts left. So I knew that plus the Aldi one wasn't gonna be enough for all of our meals this week, like enough as in to get enough protein in. Um, so I just went on and got another one from Walmart. This was $1.99 as well. And we got more and it was $9.09. So I got that. And then the very last thing that I got from Walmart, just because I was there, um, I really like these energy drinks uh, by Alani New. And this one's Mimosa. So I got that. There's only 10 calories in a can. Um, zero sugar. Zero. Um, just pretty much zero everything. There's four carbs. Gluten-free, vegan. There's biotin, B6, and B12 in, in these as well. So... I like these. This is, I don't drink coffee. I don't like the taste of coffee. So this is my coffee that I have. All right, you guys, that was my haul. That was everything um, from Aldi plus um, Walmart. At Walmart, I spent $33, I think. And then at Aldi, I spent 71. So all in all, I spent a little over $100, which obviously is more than what we typically spend but we got a lot of goodies, a lot of things that we needed, like we stocked up on the chicken. We both needed deodorant, which that was kind of expensive. The toothpaste is expensive, but it's a good quality brand. So um, I'm okay with that. Um, but next week will probably be a little bit on the lighter side as far as our grocery haul goes and how much we spend. But anyways, I hope that you guys like this video. Um, I hope that you're enjoying the videos that I have been posting. Um, I'm really enjoying it, so I hope that you are too. I hope that you guys have a great day. I hope that you had a great Easter weekend, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.